Hello, I'm Atuba George and I bless God for this opportunity to bring God's word to you. And hey, today is Children's Day. Praise God. Listen, bless every child around you. Love them. Show them some love today. Not just your children. Every child that you can have influence over. Bless. Pray for them. Send words of blessings to them. Send things as much as you can and as much as you have ability as at today. Just be a blessing to a child's day. In the name of the Lord Jesus, can we call for that daily bread? And even as we do this, I want us to add today, let the Lord remember the children of the world. There are, there are children without care. Let's not start questioning the circumstances that brought them to that situation. No, this is not the time for that. This is the time to show love and to care. So can we pray as we call for our daily bread? Let's say, Father, remember every child on this earth. Remember them and bless them. Meet them at the point of need. There are children who want to go to school, but nobody to sponsor them. God can find them. God can pick them. God can send help to them. Can we release our faith for that today? Say with me, say, Father, today I demand that you bless every child. Send an angel to every lost child. And because we have prayed, let them be helped even as we receive our daily bread today. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now listen, you know, even as we, we share these things, uh, the Spirit of God is bringing some thoughts in my heart. See, uh, you don't just pray that the Lord will feel, flood the eyes of your understanding with light. Pray for your children also. Pray for your children also. You know, <clears throat> I notice my children, my, my first son and his younger brother. Now, my, my son is my son is six years old. Yeah, he's six years old. And then his younger brother is three years old. So you know how children they argue over oh i want to do this first i want to i want to go i want to do this before you i want to so they keep struggling <clears throat> and you watch sometimes and sometimes you're like hey stop that and most times you know you like you tell the, the the bigger one let your younger brother just let him allow him have his way and a few times you say hey tell the younger one that's not how life is so sometimes you have to do things properly recently that is a prayer my wife and I pray for our children every day that they are indeed taught of the Lord. Our children are taught, is a prayer we pray every day over our children. They are taught of the Lord. They say, Lord, we release them to be taught by you. So recently, in, in, in the past few days, I noticed that when that argument starts, the elder one, We'll go whisper something to the younger one's ear. And then he will just behave. So, I noticed that the first time. The next time I noticed it, I was wondering, okay, what's he telling him? And then, the younger one argued this time. And so they had this argument, and I was going on. And then he said, Daddy, didn't the Bible say the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first? <laughs> I said, yeah. Say, hey, that's what I'm telling my brother. I said, oh, that's what you tell him. Now, now, the first time I saw it, the younger one just behaved. So the elder one had his way. But this time around, the younger one was like, no, no way. So they came to me. I like, didn't the Bible say that? I said, yeah, the Bible actually said that. And then the younger one chilled. And I like, you know, so I was thinking like, I can't remember telling them that specifically, that the first, you know, I, I, didn't, I can't remember giving them that. And then this morning, the elder one came to me and said, Dad, 
what exactly does the Bible mean when it says the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first? And as a parent, even though you're a teacher of the word of God, and that's a big test for you. Praise <laughs> God. Because now you you have to, you, you this is not church members you're teaching. <laughs> this is your, your, your son asking you a direct question. And you know that question is not just coming from his head. It is coming from his head. He's been using that word on his younger brother. But now today he's coming to like, you know, and I, and I told him, I said, look, I'll tell you the explanation I gave to him. I said, it means it doesn't matter who goes first. In God's eyes, all of you will come together. He said, okay. And then he left. I'm telling you, when he left, I said to him, I said, Lord, I hope I did right. Because <laughs> you don't want to teach your children anything that is wrong because they're going to walk in that light. But I was just thinking about it and I, and I was like, who taught him that? Uh, I have really not asked my wife yet if she's the one that taught them that. But like, you know, I was asking, and, like, and then I, I began to look at the process. Now, there's a reason I'm sharing this with you. I began to look at the process that this young man has been using that word, even though he didn't understand the depth of it, but he was using it. And for some reason it was working. But then by himself, maybe, it was because of the resistance of his brother that created that awareness. Like, okay, well, what does this really mean? And by himself, he came now to ask that question. Why am I sharing this with you? You remember Jesus said, let the children come to me and do not forbid them. For such is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord has a way of walking his word in the lives of these children. And you will know he is walking by the kind of questions they begin to bring up. I was so glad, I'm telling you the truth, I was so glad when he asked that question, like, wow, yeah. You see, you, you love it when your children, spiritual and physical, put you on your toes by asking you the right question. And you know the right questions, not the one they heard from somewhere. They hear, oh, let me come and ask too. The one that they are working on. And you know that when the answer comes, it brings a settledness in their life. It stays in their life. So today specifically, I want to pray for your children. If you're watching me and you have children, and even though you're expecting children, you're expecting to get married and you have children, I want to pray for all of them today. I pray that the Spirit of God will indeed flood their hearts with light. It is a promise that God gave that great shall be the peace of our children because they shall be taught of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. As we even pray now, I see a young lady. You, you're married, but you're wondering um, because of some medical conditions if it's safe or if you're going to have children. It, it, it's something that is bothering your heart. You're even trying to tell yourself, maybe I should just take my mind off, you know, having my own children and start thinking of what to do. If you can wrap yourself around your body, I want to pray for you right now because God wants to do something in your life. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. Whatever medical condition that is right now, right now, let the power of God come upon you now. Listen to me, young lady. You are going to have two children. You are going to have two children. And, and listen, you are going to get pregnant Hear me. You're going to get pregnant without planning for it. So you're going to realize you're pregnant. And that's when the miracle will begin. That's when the miracle will begin. For the Lord has healed you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's healed you. 
And I pray for everyone believing God for the fruit of the womb. Right now. Right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I stand in agreement with you and your spouse. And I declare right now, because children are the heritage of the Lord, let the Lord send his seed to you now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. And I pray for children that have medical conditions, one medical condition or the other. Every kind of situation, whatever it is in your child, whatever the doctors call it, let's not bother about the names right now, but whatever condition that is giving you concern about your child, I pray for that child right now. If you're close to that child, if you can lay hands on that child now. Thank you, precious Lord Jesus. Lord, these children came from you. And everything you do is perfect. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So Lord, that perfection from heaven is fully manifested in this child right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak perfection to this child. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be completely whole. Be completely whole. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, symptoms of autism gone. The condition of the leg gone. Your baby is walking, talking normally. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatever form of delay that is giving you concern right now, I command that situation changed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless these children, Lord. I bless these children. Oh, man, de cradila, asco se file breto sinta con la bracco di shaheka. The eye condition of that child be healed. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let those eyes be healed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everything. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Everything about the heart, the heart condition of that child, it is changing right now. The respiratory system, every condition is changing. Healed of bacteria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, precious Lord. Oh, Father, as the children celebrate today, you love children, Lord. You do. You do. You do. You do. They are special in your sight. So today, Lord, we stand in agreement with you. And let your hand of mercy come on every child. Let them find mercy. I declare that these children will not be involved in the hands of wicked men. Ah, kalako nepro nejehenehe. Lord Jesus, you said there are angels behold the face of the Father daily. Therefore, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, the angels of these children and every child around them, they are active for their protection. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare this season shall not be a season of misfortune for them and for their parents. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you, precious Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that the spirit of prophecy will rest upon their parents. I pray that the spirit of prophecy will rest upon every child. I pray that the spirit of prophecy will rest upon everyone watching and under the sound of my voice right now. I declare by the spirit of prophecy, things are happening in your life for good. In the name 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are experiencing the glory of God. You are experiencing fulfillment of things that God has said in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is your life portion now in Jesus' name. And I declare within the next one week, miracles will take place in your life that will set your cause aright in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare this well with you today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise God. Hug every child you find around you for me. Praise God. And just tell them, God loves you. I'll see you on Monday. Have the best weekend ever. And I speak peace over Nigeria this weekend. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.